Hello everyone and welcome to RHL Season 2. We have a great matchup for you. Supon Lionarge versus Jason Casey. I'm here with you uh, with Javier, Jason Rodriguez. Javier, how are you doing this evening? I am great. What's going on guys? And a pleasant Friday afternoon to you wherever you may be. I am excited for this one. We got two top blokes here. Jason Casey, the number 40 spot. And you guys all know Supan Leonard at the number four spot. The four all-time winningest 270 player with us today. We're just about to send these guys the code. Yes, sir. Today we have a themed, a themed match for you. We have Jason Casey playing as... JFK, and we have Supan Leonaj playing as Richard Tricky Nixon. It is a rematch of the 1960 election where JFK came up, came out on top of that one. And I am very excited to see these two guys uh, play off. We also got some breaking news from Jason Casey in the comments of my post before. He's saying that <laughs> he's saying that uh, he's going to try a new strategy out today. So but wait, very excited to see that. But wait, I have even earlier breaking news. In a recent message to me, Jason says, nah, forget it. I'm just going to go with this theme instead. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, got some conflicting breaking news there. Uh oh, that's not that's not looking good for our, our network. Oof, we're canceled. <laughs> that, okay, vo that voice crack. In the game. Let's see. We Setting have a first comment right here, Austin saying Tyler actually is recording from an orchestra practice session. <laughs> oh shit. My boss is gonna fire me now. How did you know that? Oof. I see Jeff Ray's with us, Brendan Borman, Justin Falls. What's up, my boy Justin? Let's start Get the top blokes league. Likes? What's up? Let's start the top blokes league. Oh wait, that's this. The top this is the top blokes league. Oh yeah, I'm also uh, displaying on here, Javier, if you want to uh, speak a little bit on it. I do have the uh, the schedule for the first 10 matches up on the board. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so yesterday we got to, we were able to see George, Brian, and Daniel Warren. That was very good. We also have some other matches that kind of finished. If you want to go to the uh, website real fast, you can see those matches. We had Nathan Williams and Eric York faced off last night. And we also had an early morning battle in the UK with from uh, Marty, the Irishman Donnelly, and Richard Mad Gad, where Marty, the Irishman, came up on top of Richard Gad, Richard Mad Gad there. Nathan Williams also defeated Eric York in his match yesterday. Yes, sir. So the code has been sent out to both of our competitors. We're going to begin cool. uh, very shortly. Cool. All right, could you go to the website? Yes, sir. Just give me one second. Okay. Let me click over. Okay. Got the website oh, we pulled got up here. Oh, we got some more breaking news from Brendan Borman. Brendan Borman, I don't have to resign from the RHL. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna love that comment that is great i honestly i didn't know it was still in the air about that but <laughs> i'm gonna just be ha very happy <laughs> brendan borman said but my wife refuses to play tj's wife oh that would be out well, can you imagine we got brendan borman's wife to play against tj Merkiniak's Mer wife that'd yeah. be pretty good <laughs> hey the mass tournament's coming up soon oh could those two be the masked candidates oh I got the website pulled up now, checking out Supon's profile that he's, uh, he's put up on here. As you can see, 2,400 plus wins here. What a guy. Yes, definitely number four player all time in the 270 leaderboard. Definitely been up there for a long time, been playing for several years. I've had this game for about three years now, and he's been in it just as, just about, I mean, he was already in the top leaderboard by then, I think. So this is definitely got this is definitely a 270 legend with us here. Okay, it looks like Nixon's in the house. We're just waiting for one more player and we're gonna get things underway. Let's take a look we're at away. the upcoming schedule. We saw the first ten matches. Let's see what else is up there. Yeah. Any yeah. other gems All in right. here? You know what? You go to the go to the scores and we can check see those uh see those maps. 
Yep. There's a yeah. The scores, the tab on the top. Scores. Previous on the matches. top, like the home, the home uh, bar on the top. Yep, right here. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm on the delay. My visuals are in the delay here. <laughs> but yes. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. have. Yeah, you can see uh, there's George versus Daniel yesterday. We have Nathan's versus Eric York. And then we also have the Marty, the Irishman Donnelly versus Richard Mad Dad. So that's where we're going to post our scores of all the games, do a little summary. We're going to keep building that, and you'll be able to see all the scores. Uh, every so often, I'll probably add the standings there so you can see the, what the standings look like. It's kind of like an archive type of thing. So you could go back and see if the season progresses a little bit. You just keep posting and adding there. But it looks like Jason Casey, as JFK, has came on board. Here we go. Old Let's players get in the building. Going. So, of course, JF Jason Casey is JFK. JFK is a very strong candidate across the board in terms of bonuses. Got, you know, 10 to 15, 20 all across the board. Very few penalties. Let's take a look. JFK. Yeah, 20, 20. Yep. Three, 20. Yeah, just, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of the 10 bonuses are plus. He's a very good candidate. Candidate. If He's solid for your sure. Initial plan doesn't, if your initial plan doesn't work, you veer off from that. Only a minus 15 at Old South, too. So, JFK is definitely a very strong candidate. Some would argue the strongest if you look at Sabermetrics. <laughs> <laughs> Nixon is a good uh, candidate as well, though. The penalty is a little bit more steep, I would say, but these are some solid uh, Republican-friendly bonuses here. Yes, big old South. They got the big swing stay at both twenty five percent. Big old South, absolutely, driven. Javier. The big old South. Yes. The big old South. <laughs> the big old South. You got the forty percent export driven, and then twenty percent in oil and gas, high tech manufacturing, ten to fifteen percent respectively. Yeah. So very strong. You're, you're correct. Very strong Republican board. Jason's ready to uh, go, as he said. Let's get ready to rumble. Or whatever. There you go. I put in the effort. I'll Jason take... said he's coming. He said he's coming for the title. I should have won last season. I've made my move. Adam, and you mean the, uh, the season he lost in the first round of the playoff? Okay. Jason, starting with uh, Florida, looks like a single drop into Florida, and uh, Supan going straight for the Old South bonus. Yeah. So apparently, Jason Casey's new strategy is to go for one pep in Florida. Hell, I, th I thought he was going to do that hangman strategy everybody's been talking about. Riveting. So let's see. We can do the, uh, he, he, he is starting off that way, right? Going swing. What's the deal? Is he going to go into Ohio and Pennsylvania? Is he going to go with that swing state grab? I think it's something more efficient. He goes... Jason's definitely an efficiency guy. He wants to make sure he gets the most out of his buck. So if he wants to go swing, he's going to go Ohio, Wisconsin, and New Mexico. That would be the least uh, cost-effective to get the swing state bonus. Hell, I can't believe he didn't go Old South. Yeah, very, very shocking. So this is actually this is a new strategy for <laughs> for Jason. Tossing S. Lake, the RHL champion said that asked are you sure jason isn't playing nixon <laughs> <laughs> oh we're sure uh siraj says old south is outdated now pros only do hangman strategy now oh there there's no man we're just breaking all types of news on this what about right uh now. yeah but did anyone else see joseph d bearski's texas oil man strategy there was quite a debate about that today jason was involved oh, in it if i remember i did see that i did see that we had a couple top players, especially Jason, saying, if you don't get the oil and gas bonus by turn four, it's pointless. I'm not going to lie. Some big players agreeing with him there. And we have two more with me and you agreeing with him there because we are definitely some top yep. players. So uh, let's see. You know what? We'll start off early here. going to throw out a quick poll this uh, this early on. Who do you guys think is going to take this one away, Supon or Jason Casey? Go ahead and answer uh, in the poll on the screen whenever it pops up. Very surprised. Uh, Jason went with Colorado instead of New Mexico. 
Yep, yep, look at that. Okay, so he's going for obviously a very calculated, mathematically optimal uh, swing state grab. Yes, he's probably thinking that Supan was guessing he was going to go that type of swing route, so only spending three extra thousand dollars on Colorado is just a little less cost effective than going to New Mexico, yep. but he wanted to make sure he got it and booked it and Jason's going to get a bonus. Right here, turn three, Supon has his bonus. He's got a Let's delicious see morsel. To, see if Supon decides to pressure or add, decides to switch, switch over to Texas or something. Yeah, that early Old South is always a treat. We got our... We have our Vegas man, Brendan Borman, saying, I bet Jason at even odds. So, odds coming in here, even. Well, let me tell you, I'm seeing the results so far rolling in, and they're not quite so even. <laughs> seen a big showing for Jason so far. If, if you see the poll on the screen, go ahead and select who you think might be the winner of this year matchup. I will show the current results in just a moment. Near the turn, Colorado. Oh, he goes 200. Where'd you go 200 at? I bet that's... Into Texas. Oh! What so is it looks this? Like Jason, it looks like they're both trying to block each other, perhaps. Maybe Jason's going with a four-corner strategy. That would be outlandish. That, that, that would be very outlandish. Too late, now, actually. Jason, Nixon already got New York. So Jason is okay with not getting the swing state bonus, but let's see. If he throws 200 in Texas... If he goes 400,000 in Texas, he'll have 197 left. Mm -hmm. You go 100 in Ohio and 70 in Wisconsin, he will be able to get the manufacturing bonus. Now, here's the thing, Javier. Earlier today in a 270 comment, Jason Casey was quoted as saying that he only puts money into a state if he is planning on getting the bonus the next turn. So that being said, which bonus could he possibly get next turn with what he currently has on the field? Swing and manufacturing. There you have it. And that's what it must be. Unless it's his different strategy he speaks of. This this is very different. I know uh, Tyler Barola, the former 270 Classic champ, and who has actually has a bout tonight for it to win it back against Daniel Warren. Yes, sir. He's coming through. Well, this is that, 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 that different. It is very different. This is odd. I'll give him that. This is a new strategy, absolutely, Tossin. Tossin, the champion, possibly in here to observe, uh, eating some popcorn, taking notes. We do have a lot of top RHL talents in the comments right now. Everybody Bro wants Bormen, to see this matchup. Tossin, Suraj. A lot of top RHL talent here, and these guys, wow. All Maybe. of them kind of perplexed about this new strategy, so perhaps, definitely make a move. Perhaps Jason is using this strategy because he knows that this is the tape that his competitors will be playing in the future to determine how to beat him. And then he'll just shift it back to something else. Plot twist, Jason goes Cali right now. Four corner strategy, baby. Four corner strategy. All I know is math must be involved in whatever is happening right now. Foreman saying his money is on Daniel Warren. So Jason Casey in the poll is currently winning 6-1 to one on who do you think will win this matchup? Who is Jason Casey? Uh, I think he's in that, uh, I think he's in that, uh, Tom Runyon League. The 0-50 to 50 one. Ah, yes. Excellent yes. competitor that Jason Casey. So Jason commented, this is not at all the plan. Maybe some, ooh, going big in Colorado. Going up to Florida. The 481,000, let's see what he decided to do with it. Big money, no whammies. Mexico as well. Two in Ohio. Like he's going for the African American bonus and he's gonna get it. Should be the swing actually, state bonus. Actually, no, he's not going to get the African American quite yet. Look at that. Yes, he will. Oh, I was wrong twice. Yes, he will. Look at that. Look at that. Nice and Jason even. Jason gets, gets the swing bonus, and Nixon gets the 
African American bonus. Nixon does have a minus 20% African American. So I'm sure Jason's not too worried about that bonus. Siraj says, four corner strategy. Hate to break it to you guys, but that's a common public lobby strategy. Well, excuse wow, so me. We have oh, some more breaking news to us. Hey guys, Siraj wants breaking news action. <laughs> Yeah, let me let me pin let me pin a comment about that actually, just to make sure everyone knows. <laughs> hey y'all, did you hear that taking the four best states is possibly you can win? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know if you have the four biggest states, you get most of the bonuses, right? You should do that strategy. Uh, Bart, the four corner strategy is where you just like with with tunnel vision, you just focus on trying to get the four biggest states without any regard for anything else, and then think to yourself. Well, hey, if I got the four biggest states, nobody can stop me now. Except the problem is that's you know, well, you know, you're you're a good player, so you know what the problem is. So I don't need to explain anything else. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So there's no way he's doing the four corner strategy. I'm just trolling. He's definitely doing some money math based freaking witch magic. Yes. Regardless of whatever the new strategy is, Jason's strategy yeah. is always money maxing. Supan has the African American and Old South bonus. That's going to make getting Virginia, North Carolina, which probably will be pressured uh, a little bit harder. It's also going to, at the end of the game, it's going to give Supan a big electoral push because Georgia, South Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi, those, all those add up to a lot of electoral votes. And it's going to be hard for Jason to get that because he's going to be having to spend pure cash. And Supan is going to have both bonuses for those states to protect them. So Supan's able to navigate to California. Here we go. He's in a good, good spot here. Going for that high tech, looks like. Jason going to Illinois. And another, Supan's gonna pick up another bonus here. Uh. Looks like he's making a run for that high tech bunny. Definitely gonna get turned yeah. down now. Looks like Supan's trying to get a head start on the Latino bonus as well. Boom. One more bonus. Three bonuses to one. Supan. Also, Bart, I will say this about the four corner strategy to be completely fair. In the public lobby, if you try and pull the four corner strategy and the other person is focusing on, say, national groups or maybe it's someone that doesn't know what they're doing and they're just, you know, doing something that's working against them. Once you have all four up to the third, it actually is pretty difficult to try and to try and take that one away after. But it's like most people aren't going to let you take it to that point. Is the thing? Yeah. I mean, look at Nixon. You know, already up to the third rung. By the time yeah. you dip into California and you're circling back around, what are you going to do? Another fun fact about this game, actually, it is the first ever Kennedy Division match. We had. Archive expansion from season one to season two. We added two divisions, one to the Founders Conference, one to the Reformers Conference. This one to, in the Reformers Conference, the Kennedy division, Jason Casey wanted to pay a little homage to him and play as Kennedy here. Yes, I like it. Yes, yes, a lot of, a lot of intricacies in this game here. Looks like Kennedy and Jason's gonna get the Latino bonus if he's able to keep Colorado and Arizona. Actually, he needs to go up two in Texas still. After Jason goes up two in Texas, Jason might set himself up for three bonuses right here. We got Ag, Latino, and Manufacturing. If Jason's able to keep Colorado, Arizona, go two in Illinois, two in Nevada, and two in Texas. Very pricey. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. He keeps Arizona. He keeps Colorado. Okay, Nixon making a play for high tech, yes. Yes, okay. Surely, there. surely he's going to lock in some other high-tech thing. Okay. Got pressure in Nevada as well. Goes up two in Texas. So Jason will pick up three bonuses. Supan will pick up one with the high-tech. Booyaka. Booyaka. 619. Booyaka. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there man. Bonuses are now four to four now. So Jason and Supan are gonna be battling it out for export, and what's the last one? Oil. Yep, looks like it. Export and oil. Supan is challenging in Latino, however. 
Latino and the Ag with Illinois, so I expect Jason not to mess around with Illinois and just go balls to the wall there and protecting it. But Suplin, if he's able to pick off Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, or Nevada, and he adds that with New Jersey, he could take it away from Kennedy. I feel like Jason's going to lock in Arizona. So Jason, Arizona's very important. He's going to lock in Arizona, Nevada. How crazy would it be? These both these guys to see here, 874. I wouldn't be surprised Supin does double tap in Cali right now. Oh man, I'm gonna be doing a live stream with Supin later for the 270 Classic, and I'm gonna be so quiet when he's. I'm just gonna let him go off when he's doing his surely this and surely. Oh man, he's doing the ballot rounds. That's for damn sure. Surely, surely Supin will go California this round. Surely he'll hit that double double in California. Oh, I'm gonna be marking out. It's gonna be great. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. It'll be the fir your first dual stream without me. We're I know, I know, Javier. It's crazy. What's going I'm on in this get, world? I want to get a little jealous now. It looks like our, <laughs> looks like our executive producers don't want us working together. We're working too well. Don't worry, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> we'll always have Paris. Yeah. Okay. I'll make Both. my spend. Well, you know what. Taz did have to go work with Michael Cole for a while, so. That's very true. Who, it, who's who in that situation? I'd I, honestly, I'd just rather be like the camera. I'd rather be the ref with the blonde hair. <laughs> if the I, if uh, I had Charles, a team, Charles I had Robinson? Him. Charles Robinson. I'm pretty yes. sure that's his name. Robinson sounds familiar, yes. You know, I actually have one of those wrestle, uh, the, one of those referees autographs from when I was like nine years old. The main guy, Mike <laughs> Kyoto, the one you see in all the pictures. Except for Earl Hebner. I literally have that dude's autograph on like some freaking like Teddy Graham notebook paper. Ridiculous. <laughs> off the Remember uh, autograph books? Oh, yeah. I, those were a thing. People used to care about like, oh, let me get their autograph. I mean, I guess I would still, as far as like sports wise, I guess, but like an autograph book. Hell, I, I remember I paper. Any, any of those. I remember paper. <laughs> <laughs> In my day, we chopped up the trees and didn't smoke them. Uh, Alaska, okay. Arizona, big move. Colorado. Let's see what we got. Okay, so JFK locks in Colorado. Florida. Florida pressure? Ooh. Florida pressure. Never good with that Florida pressure. Michigan pressure. No, pressure Jason everywhere. getting big here. Tossin says, we'll be seeing a big fight for Latino and export, I imagine. Yep. Lexington does have the African American bonus. We can go to Florida, but Jason has the swing and ag bonus. Flash in Pennsylvania. With it as well. Supun spent very low this round. Yeah, still nothing in California. Still nothing in California. A lot of votes. California put these guys up very, either of these guys very close to 270. Look at the money though, Javier. Nine. Look at the money differential. Big disparity. Supan here, he had a match before this where he was very patient. Supan learning to be very patient and not overspend is a very dangerous Supan. Yeah, the Supan we saw before is Supan. This is Supan Ultra Pro Max. Yes, yes. Last season we just got Supan Max Pro. Last season was merely a test. You know when you're when you're when you're hunting a fox, you got to let them run for a little bit. You don't just shoot them right away. You know, come on now. Supan knows what he's doing. That was the best analogy ever. I'm gonna win a prize. Yeah. So, someone made a comment about one of my ridiculous analogies yesterday, and I expect one now as well. <laughs> what would you say? We got the famous double, the double clash turn. There was the okay, so there was the famous double clash pivot, and then someone else, someone else also made a comment when I was talking about Brawling. fencing. When I was talking about fencing, <laughs> Barola, was Barola was harping about the double clash pivot. Yeah, Barola does the, has done a few streams now. All of a sudden, he thinks he's been Scully over here. Now, definition: the double clash pivot is when two players. Uh, clash in their original strategy, and then they both pivot to a different strategy and then clash again in those states. That is the double clash pivot. I mean, the, the definition is in the in the name. Yeah, it's it's in the, the manual of 270. Yes. You can send it a feedback about it, I bet. 
they'll respond. They respond to everything they said. Everything. Even when I send them my hopes and dreams, they've always responded and encouraged me to pursue them. It doesn't have to be about the game. No, I'm just <laughs> Don't mention them about anything other than the game. I don't endorse that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tyler said it was fine. Yes. If you're just joining us right here, we have Luke Bun versus Jason here. Jason is oh going double camping. Hey! Cal the double California Luke. pivot. Let's go. Wow, going to California oh. and the old oh, hit against Pennsylvania just slightly. Supan spending very low again, not spending the African American or that town and gown. Look at that. So Supan's gonna have a lot of cash here, and Jason's thinking about you know maybe setting himself up later. Look at all that cash for Supan. I think Supan is gonna try and steal Florida. Surely he will try to steal Florida. Right Hilarity now. special. Surely Let's see, he has, I mean, how much can JFK feasibly spend in Florida? How much does he really have? Because, uh, Jason, Nixon has mad throw money. Three. He's, Jason spent a lot there. Nixon very, got that mad uh, dad money. Uh, it's very weird. It's uh, very odd for me to see Jason in this type of position with the other player having more cash than him. There's especially almost three times as much cash than, like two and a half times more cash than he does. Tossin, let's read some comments here. Tossin says, without Florida, he'll be in serious trouble. Are you referring to Jason, Jason or I guess. Supon? Jason, like, I'm guessing Jason's gonna protect Pennsylvania and let Florida go. He's okay with losing Florida. If he could keep Pennsylvania, I think he's just trying to keep that bonus, the the swing state bonus. So if he could keep Pennsylvania, I think he'll be able to keep the swing state bonus. And if he goes up one in California, he's able to keep the ag bonus as well. And he'll get the export with the oil and gas. He'll be able to keep ag and swing. So perhaps he's willing to take the electoral uh, setback if he could get the uh, six to four bonus lead. Okay, so Tossin was referring to Nixon. So Tossin was saying that Nixon needs to get Florida, or he'll be in serious trouble. Ah, oh, yes. Then in that case, yes, you're very right, correct there, champ. And you have to expect that Jason's going to have that oil money next turn, unless he Surely absolutely needs to. the money for something. <laughs> unless he absolutely needs the money for something else. Yeah, no, no. He's going to go one in Cali right now. He'll go one in Cali to get to third pit. So if he, even if he just goes in one in Cali and loses. Florida, he he still get the export because even if he loses Pennsylvania and Florida, he'll still get the export. Bryce says he needs Pennsylvania to get high tech. High tech, uh, Nich, uh, Nixon has high tech by a good amount. Actually, not that good amount, but if he takes Pennsylvania, yeah. it'll give him a very uh, very strong high tech advantage for sure. Yeah, but look at that. All you need, look at California and Pennsylvania, and look how close. Uh, you would be to the high tech still though. If you go over to the high tech bonus, you could see California, Pennsylvania put you at 260. Yep. You need only 317 and a half to get the high tech bonus. So that puts you up there really close because Jason's barely over the height that halfway mark and he's in all the other states but California and <laughs> he has all the other states but California and Pennsylvania. I'll also say this is one of those rare matches where you don't have a fairly early Virginia lock. I feel like Virginia usually gets locked in somewhat early, or at least amongst the first few states locked in. It's very true, but there's no pressure at all in Virginia or North nope. Carolina. It's clear. And North Carolina as well, also clear. You'd think there'd at least be a little bit of pressure, but uh, Jason must have some other money moves planned out. He does have the three corner strategy. Maybe he is going for four corners. Could you imagine if this turns out to be the four corner strategy? I mean, it's not, it's not a pure four-corner strategy, but it's certainly using elements of it. But the, it, the, it, it's, uh, it just finished, it's the end product of it. Yeah. And start off like it, but it's a different route to it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's really trying to make a version of the four corners that actually works. Because when you do, I mean, unless you start with 
Cali in Texas, which takes, you know, many, many turns to actually collect those bonuses, or you have to do Cali, New York, before you get Here we bonuses. go with that big spend by next time. I'm sure he went big in Florida. Oh, there it is. Florida there's Steel. A, there's a Florida flip. Oh, and Illinois. Damn, Nixon is a crook, though. Hey, look at that. Michigan, Michigan. flips. Hey, yo. Minnesota is entered. Pressure. North Carolina is pressure. Under pressure. Let's see what happens with Pennsylvania here. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Flip. Oh. Nixon oh. locked in Pennsylvania. Nixon with that is going to be able to get the swing state bonus. Oh. So I think we're at five to five now. Oh, but look at that. He collects two bonuses, though, so that'll still help. It'll be five to five. I believe some of these bonuses are still available to flip. Let's go down these bonuses here. Yep, Jason Casey is JFK, and Supan Leonard is Nick Retro Nixon. Jason Casey, number 40 all time in the 270 wins, and Supan is number four all time in 270 wins. It looks like Supan has a stronghold in the African American. That's pretty safe. Latino. Let's see. Jason's very strong there with Texas, with uh, Texas and California. Oil and gas is very strong with them. High tech maybe could flip. Let's take a look. High tech. If Jason will need. Where's the need pressure, pressure though? Pressure. Uh, let's click on just uh, JFK's face, just his icon. Yep. And let's see. He's not really pressure. Is he pressure in those states too? Yeah, yeah. He's in. Some pressure. Not a whole lot. Yeah. Not a whole lot. He's still got some pressure though. So that's safe. The uh, height, uh, agriculture is very safe. Manufacturing safe. Uh, old style is safe. Export very safe for uh, Jason. Oh yeah, that's actually Illinois is a pretty good grab for Jason right now. Yeah, Illinois would be very good. I expect Supan to close Illinois out. Yep, you'd think so. Let's do our spend yes. real quick. Swing, perhaps swing is perhaps is the most vulnerable. I could see Jason going for North Carolina big. Uh, Supan might have to decide between Illinois and North Carolina. Perhaps he has enough for both. But I don't know how much uh, counting down he's been saving up. Yeah, Nixon still has extra funds here. I'm not sure what kind of money it is. Got some comments yeah. rolling in. Uh, Tasha says... Uh, Old South. What's up? Perhaps it's Old South. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, he'll probably drop it in North while. Carolina now. Uh, yeah, definitely. Tossin says, losing Michigan did nothing other than waste JFK's money and same for New Hampshire. Meanwhile, he flipped Florida with minimal extra expenditure. Only three pips extra. 300k to flip Florida isn't a big deal. Yeah. Definitely seems like a pretty good money play for him. Got about a minute yeah. 50 left here. Yes, both of these guys definitely probably thinking, calculating. Brendan says, Trying what about Florida? Thinking. Sorry, Mr. Turn to the baby. So uh, basically, there was just a big flip of Florida recently uh, wherein uh, Nixon jumped ahead big, three paces. Three big states flipped. Florida, Illinois, uh, actually four. Florida, Illinois, Pennsylvania, and Michigan. Yep, yep. Three of them went towards Nixon. And because he was able to get Illinois, did he get Illinois by one? By Let's one see. ring? Or by two. One pip? Two went, pips, yeah. He went for the old double. Yeah. A safety if, pick. Uh, yeah, if Jason was able to hold on to Pennsylvania, then he would have kept that swing state bonus. If he has extra oil money, he might go, for, that. He might go for Louisiana. That yeah, that's true. Come on, where's the yeah, Virginia yeah. pressure? I yeah. need to see I a battle know, in Virginia. In the game, I always try to look for states like you pointed out louisiana where you're almost quite finished it but not quite and try to steal it so it'd be like you wasting money like if you look at louisiana if jfk was able to steal that it'd be really it'd be a 200 over almost 200,000 setback for richard nixon because he puts all that in Illinois, louisiana and he did not win any of those electoral votes yeah but same you know, thing it's... for Blue in, in pennsylvania here we go there looks like a ballot push possibly Big defense in Florida. This might be a ballot move. Illinois locked in, of course. Both these guys are in different small states, so I don't know if either of these guys wanted the ballot. Hey, just Ooh, like I said, Indiana. boom. Look at that. He had the oil money, he went for it. And oil, he was able to get Louisiana. Or 
Carolina, protected. Pressure on Ohio. Ohio special. Yep. Oregon will answer him too. I expect Washington to beat pressure as is. well. There it is. Virginia. Virginia. There's Washington and Wisconsin too. Okay. No belt though. That didn't look like a Montana grab. At least I don't think. No ballot. Got quite a few states up still, actually. Yes, a lot of votes still up for grabs. Both these guys, even electorally, 244, 239. Uh, we got some pressure in these big states, Ohio, Wisconsin, Michigan still. And uh, JFK decided to pressure in Washington, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia. So a lot of pressure put on by both of these guys here. Supan, I don't believe, is pressuring either Kelly or Texas. Nope. And he has, does have the high-tech money, so let's see if he decides to... I, I think he shouldn't even waste his money in Kelly and Texas right now. Too late in the game. Just, just try to secure the states you have. You got a stronghold in the south. Just try to work on some of these great plain states. Try to pick that up. Florida will be a big steal by Jason. I do not expect that. Maryland might be a flip. Export did not fit, Brendan. I believe uh, Jason still has that, yeah. High-tech yeah. is still close. Yeah, if Jason's able to get, you know, Washington and Massachusetts, he'll be able Virginia, to flip. win it. I don't expect Stupin to give up Virginia, even though I don't think it's necessarily fruitful for him at this point. Perhaps, you can see. If it so was 13 me? Electoral, 13 electoral votes for 22,000, 22,500. That's a lot of votes i definitely go up there virginia get more votes than maryland and maryland's more expensive export so, still close that could flip definitely. yeah not as likely but it's possible yeah it's gonna make our spend okay here we go uh, needs i mean uh jason needs to keep michigan and ohio to keep the export bonus he loses either of them, his export bonus will be gone. So very interesting to see what these guys are thinking, what they prioritize, prioritize in terms of their bonuses, what they think they want to keep, what they're okay with losing if they do. So what do we have locked up here? 40, 73. 40, Tossin 73. Did our, Tossin did the calculation for us. I'm going to trust Tossin's calculation. Sounds good. All right, 73 it is then. 73 it is so if florida gets locked in i don't think florida will get locked in possible Probably just maybe spend one in there or keep yeah, just it's, spending. A, it's a big 300k to spend right now i don't i don't think jason would go for a grab like that agreed i still think a michigan flip is possible hmm Oh, uh, this, uh, I was corrected because of the Louisiana flip that we mentioned that Jason could afford to lose Michigan or Ohio. We have corrections by both Tossin and Jason Casey himself doing some sideline reporting for us. Thank you, Jason. Uh, so, yeah, because of that big Louisiana flip, Jason will have 400K with California and Texas. 425 with Louisiana, and he's able to keep Michigan or Ohio. That will definitely be enough to keep the export bonus when you just need about, what is it, 464 for the export. 464,000 worth of states in the third pip to get the export bonus, if that makes sense. Yeah, we'll go with it. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Here we go. Looks like both may be going for a ballot. Both going for that W with Arkansas. No ballot. Clash, Clash Indiana. Indiana. And Butts is still only at 73 locked votes. Double no Clash. There you go. Put that one in your dictionary. <laughs> A double no Clash. Oh, oh no! no! Michigan! That's, that's going to be... That's big help for... Oh, he man. Back a lot with the money total. The only thing better than one streamer saying, oh no, is two streamers saying, oh no. We got a pressure in New York. Woo! Ohio flip. flip. Nixon over that magic uh, mark over 270. Look at that. Any bonuses flip? Big money spend. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it, but 
there was a big clash in Michigan. JFK Mason now has the money advantage. About 300k on him. 270 to be more specific. Yeah, stay, let's take a look at these bonuses again. So it's Supun with uh, Supun's going for the export bonus. He went spent big in Michigan. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Spent big in Michigan. So Supun trying to perhaps uh, flip over those. That would be a 32 swing, uh, 32 vote swing, and also the export swing would go his way. But he, Jason, was able to snip that out, protect Michigan. You're just so tuning very in now. Interesting to see what these guys do. If this game will probably last maybe another round or two. I do not expect it to. So Michigan is that counts as a lock state because there's a big clash. So. Here. What do you mean by that? Uh, Michigan count. So if you use a big clash, and there's a big clash all the way to the tenth pip, that yeah. counts as lock. Really? That's a thing. Yeah, I've no. I recognized it in several games. Wow. Okay. Now that's interesting. Yeah. I forced ballots because of it too, because I wow. recognized that. Oh, like these states don't look locked in, but they actually are. Like they actually like wow. technically are because they. It counted, so 16, so 73 plus 16 is 83, 89. So not quite there yet. Still That's need quite about an interesting tip. More. You heard it here first, folks. Yes, a little insight here. I really hope I'm correct on this now, because if I'm not, <laughs> I'm officially, I'll be officially, I have to be officially redacted. No, 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 it's good to mislead people too, because then you win more games. Ah, yes. <laughs> Uh, yes. uh, in that case, says, the uh, corner strategy is the best strategy. Siraj says, that actually is in the 270 rules. Yeah, of course it is. It absolutely is. So, yes. For sure. Yes. Got about a minute 40 left here. Turn 12. Several people are very surprised about that uh, rule about the lock votes. Daniel Smith and Tossin. Daniel Smith joined us. What's going on, Daniel? A little hiatus from the his t tournament running here. Fellow commissioner. Looking forward to those getting started. Looking, I'm sure you're looking forward to uh, watching Daniel Warren lose the belt today. Tonight, after this match, that would be at, what is that, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 Eastern. Tyler, Demora, and Supan are going to be doing that one. Yeah, I do believe so. It's going to be wow. fire. Yes, but get back to this one. We have about a minute left in the timer. Both these guys still thinking we made our move. Jason Casey versus Supan Leonage. Jason is JFK. Supan is Nixon. It's a rematch of the 1960 election. So very interesting. Uh, Supan had the money advantage for most of the game, except this turn now since that big clash in Michigan. So now Jason's ahead of him in that department. Let's Supan. see if these guys. Wow. Daniel says we got the roundtable finals tonight. Supan versus Chris Roper. Yeah, we got a lot of Supan's in involved in a lot tonight. Oh my goodness, Supan has a very busy schedule, huh? Daniel Smith, we got the round table tonight. Supan versus Chris Roper. 10 Central commentary from George Fry and myself, Daniel Smith. Everyone tune in. You hear that, everyone? Uh, it's coming up in, where is that? On uh, 10 Central. 10 Central, that's the, I think that we have a little bit of a ratings. I was going to say, I think those are at the exact same time. You'll have to check with Renee on that, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, everyone get so. two screens ready. Um, <laughs> Arkansas flip. Connecticut flip. Delaware flip. Looks like we got a high Florida tech flip. Locked, Florida in. locked in. So we got definitely over 100 now with or without Michigan. Indiana is in there. Kansas, ooh, Kentucky. Yeah, the there it is. Maryland flips. Big Looks Maryland like flip. High tech bonus. Michigan locked in. That's enough for the ballot for sure. But will all the states be accounted for? Tennessee needs to be inserted into. And Rhode Island? Or no, Rhode Island already is. Nixon repairing in New York. Ooh, Clash in Tennessee. We got another turn here. Oh. Yeah. 
High tech money flips. Uh, high tech money flips. Jason Casey now with the money and the bonus advantage. 300,000 K. That actually uh, does make a difference too. Maryland is still in play. Massachusetts still in play. New York, lots of Virginia. high tech. Virginia. A lot of the high tech still in play. Yeah, so Possibly a Virginia to, flip. Jason was able to get Supan to spend protecting in Florida and New York. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have a we have a gamer. It's going to be an interesting battle. We have two turns here. You see, we see Jamie, Jamie Lewis Underwood in the comments having a good idea. He said, you guys should show the White House president graphics like real election. We can now project that that that, that has been connected to the next president of the United States. Perhaps we could do that for the RHL championship or something like that. It's kind of like, that seems like oh, a yeah. big... Uh, grand deal sting, so nah, that's a good idea, though, Jamie. Not too hard. I could probably do that. I know what he's uh, talking about. There we go. You're right here first, guys. We're gonna have a. He's by the end of this, by the end of this stream, we're gonna have a big old. <laughs> Not by the end of this one, but I know what he's talking about. He's talking about that screen where it shows all the states and it says how many electorals they won. It shows the person smiling because they've swindled everybody. Yeah, I got you. I'm down with that. <laughs> swindled everyone. Yes, Tossin recognizing that high tech, that damn high tech flip was massive. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely gonna help. Yes, look at that. Flip back though. Jason <laughs> put himself out there getting Maryland. Def this is why, this is why we call Jason Casey the mathematician. Look how close that high tech bonus is. He knew exactly where to go, where to pick off Connecticut, Delaware, Maryland, states you don't normally defend. They look like they're on the same line. Look at that. It looks like they're on the same line. Let's, you know, that's you know what we can do a little map. We, you need a hundred and thirty-seven thousand and a half worth of high-tech money to Hold get it. it. He probably has exactly it's the half too. I think he has exactly the half. Plus, yeah, two hundred plus forty-five plus thirty-five plus ten plus fifteen plus twelve and a half gets him at three seventeen and a half exactly. Wow. Yes. That's Super crazy. Fun. Yes, three seventeen and a half, insaneless. Oh, Chad Harris, you're in the comments. Hey, man, I got your message. I totally forgot to respond. This week's been crazy. I'll absolutely stream some RHL Congress matches for you, man. I'll, I'll message you back later. Yes, very hard. Two, three seventeen and a half. To... Jason giving us a little winky face here, correcting thoughts in about that half. <laughs> <laughs> It's unreal. Yes. You know what I noticed too is that these game, the game doesn't, sh the the game doesn't show a, uh, what is it like twenty five, like like a point two five. So if it's like, let's see, if you have eighty three point two five, it kind of just, I think it just shows as eighty three point two or eighty three point three. Well, it doesn't show anything, right? Yeah, no, like, uh, as far as, like, some people, if when they get manufacturing or something, or Latino would get that 83 and a half, 83.25, but it shows oh. in the bottom, 83.2, or it shows, yeah, it yeah. shows in the bottom, because it doesn't show the, it doesn't go to the hundredth decimal place. It only right, goes to the right, 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 I got you now. Uh, I had to, I had to think about those math words back then. Ooh, we had the turn go down. Did we did we not make our turn? No, we did. We did. I, I definitely double checked. Somebody if it, somebody zero spent here that'd be very interesting. They ran the time down. Nope, everyone everyone Here we go. Okay. Alright, whatever. Pressure in DC. Lap in. I'm gonna run back the stream and be like, yeah he didn't press that button. <laughs> Maryland all locked up. Oh. That one was on the. Wow, that was, that's very curious. That 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 Michigan move. Right? Both, both of them, both of them just trying to get a little little edge, or Jason trying to get that quick ten going into the ballot probably. Yeah, that'd be a twenty. Uh, 20 Virginia vote. gone, all locked up. Ooh, Wisconsin, Wisconsin flip. flip. No Tennessee. We have another what? round. Come on now, what is this? No, Tennessee, another round here. Oh, you're killing me, Spaws. What is this? What is happening now? So looks like Jason's gonna have another round with the that yeah, but with the uh, six to four flip? bonus. 
Nah. New York not flipping now. Definitely, these guys are gonna go into Tennessee. That's manufacturing. Yes, that's true. Jason did lose man. Oh, true. Yes, manufacturing was lost. Yes, but Jason's still having a lot of money. He still has a five to four bonus difference. Wow. Look at that. I could assume Wisconsin, Ohio, and New York Carolina will get locked in. Jason probably going to do another low spend here unless he's going to try. I don't know if he could try to get the manufacturing. It might be too costly. If he he's gets... Not in, is he in... He's in Indiana, actually, right? Well, if yeah, if he's in both of these, he could grab uh, manufacturing with either of them, right? Yeah, that's true. So, that yeah, I didn't know he was in... Indiana or Kentucky, so he could spend maybe fifty thousand and get that, or maybe seventy-five just to make sure seventy-five to hundred. I'd put three into I'd, Kentucky. I'd expect Jason to go Kentucky. I would expect that, but I also expect uh, him to spend low. You see him spending low; he's going to want to get a lot of money for that ballot round. He already has the money advantage. Look at that! He knows that several bonuses locked in. Export still very close. Yeah, that's what that calculation was with uh, with uh, going all the way in Louisiana and then letting him take yep. Ohio. Yep. But this is why we call him the mathematician. No tossing the oil. Oil and gas hasn't been up for grabs for a long time now, but oil is definitely going to help them protect those... Uh, oil states. I'm going to go ahead later. and reopen the poll. Who do you guys think will win this matchup? Supon or Jason? Feel free to re-answer. What's it at right now? So, from earlier, it's 6 to 1, Jason, Supon. Okay, 6 to 1. We have a new poll That's out. starting to so shift. we have a poll before the ballot. Oh, that's a good idea, Bart. He said, okay, we have a poll before the ballot. Who's going to win? That's pretty good. So this poll right now shows things evening out now. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> four and Super four. definitely had the advantage at the beginning. Yep, but everyone was for Jason. Now, showing Supon is, is pulling ahead 56%. Here we go. Okay, so JFK putting pressure into uh, some Old South. Oh! Ooh, big class there in Ohio. Costly. Didn't go Indiana or Kentucky. That's big costly. All right, there it and is. Tennessee entered. We now have a ballot. All right, let's see. No, no bonuses changed hands. No bonus But we change. will have a ballot. Here it is, folks. Who do you think is going to win? The number 40 player all time, JC, Jason Casey, or the number four player all time, Supan Leonaj? I'll put JFK up a... Nixon. Okay, I'm gonna put up a new post here. Supon is playing as Nixon, and then Jason JFK. Okay, just went and published a new poll. Who's going to win ballot round? Supon playing as Nixon or Jason playing as JFK? Oh, you publishing now? Should you, pu pu you publishing? You publisher now? Yeah, I'm publishing. Oh, yeah. Should pop up in frame for anybody that's watching. Who do you think will win, Supon or Jason? Yes, let's go ahead and look down the uh, uh, bonuses and let's see what these guys have the cash advantage at. Yep. So, African American, obviously, Supon has that, but it's only 80,000. Jason pressuring in a lot of those states, I believe. Uh, Latino is going to help Jason with keeping New Jersey and Nevada. Oil and gas will definitely help him get that great, those, keep those uh, oil and gas, those great plain states right there. Wyoming, South Dakota, Kansas, Oklahoma. I don't, I'm sure it's not all those are great plains, but that's all I know. Midwest and then South is gonna go to help soup on there. Export will help Jason keep Ohio, uh, Oregon, maybe help him put up some pressure in Washington because the high tech will help him put pressure in Washington, Massachusetts as well. Uh, swing State is going to just help Supan defend his lead. And Town and & Gown is also going to help him defend his lead as well. Town & Gown pretty open right now too. 
Yes, Talent Gown, pretty open right now. Supon, I don't think he has a lot of Talent Gown money. He does, he Supon is 37 over right now. So Jason will need to flip. If you see the uh, poll in frame, go ahead and answer that if you like. We're going to be revealing the results and moving on to the ballot shortly. Yes, Jason will need to flip 39 votes to win. Let's see, he ha does have, what is it, 500,000 cash advantage? Maybe five and a half? Maybe six. Uh, yeah, maybe even more. Uh, Tossin says Massachusetts is one to watch. High tech money being saved. Uh, Brendan, they are both in New Jersey. Yes. Yes, they're both in New Jersey. Let's take a quick overview here. They're both pretty much almost everywhere. Okay, we have the results of the poll. Uh, we have Supon winning five to Jason's four. Fifty-six percent of viewers think that Supon is going to win this one. Very, very interesting. So Supon, okay. the crowd, the crowd favorite to win with his position on the board right now. In contrast to the earlier poll, which showed Jason as the clear favorite. Six to one. Very true. Very true. And we have Jason listening. I'm sure he's going to feel very vindicated if he is able to flip these other states over here. So, 50 seconds remaining. It's going to be very fun to see what happens. We might get down to zero again. Brendan with a hot take. He says, I think Jason cuts it down and falls less than 10 short. Less than 10 short. Remember, oh, in the Rio Hondo League, a victory gets you three points. We have a point system for the standing, so a victory gets you three points. If you lose with the popular vote or if here you lose by less than 20 electoral votes you'll get one point let's see here nothing flipped so far we have nope no flips yet still so oh indiana flips that's flip. 22 point swing right there okay kentucky flips. kentucky flip missouri flips that's a 20 point swing jason is at 260 right now nebraska flip. flips is 265. east nevada New Jersey, that's a flip, right? There's, no, no he, flip. He okay. got to spend it. Oh, that's three pips in New York. He's Big defense. There. Big defense. Okay. Still Stay needs close. five oh! more. There's there six right there. There it There's is. Washington. Oh! Washington flip. Oh! And it looks like Jason Casey's able to sneak this one past. There Ricky it is. Nixon. Defying the polls. Anyone who turned against him from the first poll, there you have it. Jason Casey, wow. JFK, video kills the radio star yet again. Bang, bang. Wow, congratulations, Jason Casey. Super on Leonage. Is he, did he win that popular vote? Uh, let's see. It's, no, he lost the popular by three million. Yeah, so Jay, so Nixon won the popular vote. So Quinn picks up a point. Jason picks up three points. JFK wins in this inaugural Kennedy Division battle between Jason Casey and Supun. Very great game. What are your, some of your final thoughts on this game here, Tyler? Yeah, I mean, I, I have to agree with the comments. I mean, uh, I think for the majority, that was a, a really balanced, uh, uh, even game for a lot of it. Um, I mean, I would say I think Supon had uh, a bit of an advantage in the middle for sure. Um, that ballot round was, I think, uh, I think that ballot round was tough. Definitely tough yeah. for that, that New York, big New York defense uh, is, a, is a killer. That was only uh, able to only winning by just a, a few states worth of electoral votes here but a great game by jason casey and supan supan does have a full schedule tonight so he should be playing some more what do we got going on else tonight we have the the uh 270 classic right with J uh, daniel warren and tyler brola that's the third time they are facing off for that to see to see who holds that title yep i uh I was dual streaming the 270 Classic with Supon at uh, 10 Central. I, I 
since he's in a tournament at that very time, a finals match, I think maybe we're going to have to talk about that one. I'm not sure if that's exactly going to work out now. But either way, yeah, we'll we have two awesome matches coming up for you soon. Um, and we will be posting again, posting again in the lounge shortly. Yes, yes. Always and, a pleasure, uh, Javier. Yes, if you could go over to the RHL website real fast. Yep. I could show you that we have a live screen happening Sunday. That's a pretty big one. We have Brandon Borman versus Learte. And that one you're not going to want to miss. That's happening on Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. That's going to be streamed by Adam Montgomery. He's the first ever Founders Conference champion. And this, this will be his first ever stream. So that's going to be very excited. We got a new member of the RHL stream team with us. So we'll be able to see the promo for the Learte and uh, Borman. That's going to be a good one. Where, if you click where it says Rio Hondo League, it takes you to the homepage. Or you could just click RHL Home. Ah, I see. You've changed it. Got it, got it. Very nice. Yes. Yes. So you see right there, we have Learte versus Brendan Borman, commented by Adam Montgomery. That will be at 6 p.m. Pacific 9 a.m. Eastern on Sunday. So that's about wraps it up for us today. That about wraps it up for us today. Whoa. <laughs> I'll be back on later this evening with another uh, classic matchup. Yes. Yes. Very classic. Okay. Yes. So for Tyler Demora, I'm Javier Rodriguez. Good evening. You guys have a good and good one. night. Deuces, juices. <laughs>